Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in. This week, we got a autograph memorabilia pickup and some throwback pickups. It's all related, so we're going to put this in two different playlists. This will be in the Throwback Thursday playlist, which we haven't released anything on that play playlist in quite a while. And so it's also go in our autograph pickups playlist, so you can find it in both playlists. Uh, you already know what it is from the title, so no further ado, let's get into this. All right, um, this was a pretty exciting player when I was growing up in my, uh, you know, through my late teens, early 20s. Uh, he was like the, the king when it came to rebounds. Uh, Dennis Rodman, a.k.a. The Worm. Um, I think he really shot the superstardom, really, whenever he joined the Bulls, but, you know, he was part of the Detroit Pistons, Bad Boys, and uh, San, San Antonio Spurs. He also played about almost two dozen games with the Lakers and uh, had a short stint with the Mavericks. So uh, I was wanting to originally collect um, the starting five out of the lineup um, of the Bulls for a project I wanted to do. But uh, Michael Jordan's autograph has shot through the roof since the Last Dance documentary and Scotty Pippins has shot up as well. So Rodman's the most affordable price-wise when it comes to the top three of the starting five. So I went ahead and picked up this stuff while it was still affordable. I kicked myself for not getting a Jordan one back in the day and even for not for you know not getting a Scotty Pippen one sooner. So this is from multiple places. RSA Sports. You've seen me pick up stuff from them before. Um I think two of them were eBay pickups. One was Culture Kings and Mitchell and Ness. So this will just be in random in no certain order. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, the first thing is from Culture Kings. They advertised this was an exclusive to them. I've seen them do that before. Then I maybe they get the exclusive to it first, maybe because I've seen stuff that they say is exclusive to them, then you end up seeing uh, other people have it. So I end up getting the LA Lakers Swingman, the purple version. Once again, it's supposed to be exclusive to Culture Kings. So it's a traditional purple jersey with the 73 done in white outlined in the yellowish gold. Lakers done in the yellowish gold outlined in white. Got the white and yellow pinstriping. Down here it says 1998 to 1999. Dennis Rodman. Once again, he played, I think it was like maybe 23 or 27 games. I can't remember exactly. It was like right around two dozen games. Uh, so his stint with the Lakers is very short-lived. And we got Rodman on the back. Got the 73. Kind of crease from shipping. And I flatten that out. So very nice. Got in size XL. So I was happy to add that. Next one, this one was actually from Mitchell and Ness. This will be my most recent pickup from him. So I got the red version of the Chicago Bulls jersey. That's always been my favorite one out of the Bulls jerseys. I've always been a fan of the red one over the white one and the black ones. I also got this in size XL. Get the Bulls done in black outline of white. Same thing with the 91. Then this says 97 to 98, which this has been the last year of their second three-peat and the final season of Rodman, Pippen, and Jordan all being part of the Bulls before they departed and went their separate ways. 
It's very nice. Hit Robin 91. If you pay attention to his jersey numbers and all the teams he played when he wore when he played for the uh, Pistons and played for the Spurs, he wore number 10. If you look, 9 plus 1 equals 10. Then on the Lakers jersey, 7 plus 3 equals 10. So I don't know if, uh, if a lot of people like, like notice that, that it was kind of a pattern how he came up with his jersey numbers. All right, this one came from Fanatics. This one originally was um, first seen by me on Culture Kings, and they said this was exclusive to them. But I held off because their shipping is kind of expensive. And I ended up surfacing on Fanatics later. So that's, that's what makes me think maybe they let Culture Kings have certain releases first. And that's why they're saying it's exclusive to them. Then later on, it's available to the other people possibly. I don't know that for a fact. All right, so we went with the yellow version of his Lakers jersey. So they got the Lakers done in purple outline of white. Same thing with his jersey number. Once again, 1998 to 1999. Size XL, once again. Number 73 Rodman on the back. Very nice. I'm going to have to try to get the crease out of the jersey number on the back of the purple one. So that's my throwback part of the video. I didn't. Realize I laid out my packages that way. So from here on out will be the, the autograph memorabilia. So this is from Rochester Sports. I buy a lot of stuff from them. Uh, those unfamiliar, they're a wholesaler. So you can get really good deals and stuff. This is where a lot of sports shops get their stuff from. And then of course they mark it up. This was the last one they had of this. And then eyeing it for a little while. I honestly wanted it in a smaller size than what, what this was, but so I thought this was pretty dope. Let me Get all this out of the way. So this this is authenticated by Leaf. They used to be the Canadian version of Donruss. Those in, they're into trading cards. It's a pretty dope photo of Rodman and uh, Charles Oakley with the Knicks. You see it's signed up here. It's a pretty cool overhead view. He's wearing the Red Bulls jersey. So I think this is like a 16 by 20. I, I wish I could have got like 8 by 10, but it is what it is. Got for a really good deal though. So happy to add that. This, I originally bought one from Rochester Sports, but I was unhappy with the quality of it when I got it, so I returned it. Then I ended up getting this one off of eBay. I messaged the seller and asked if, if the one picture was the exact one I would be receiving. He said yes, so I went ahead and got it. So this is authenticated by JSA. I, I would say they're probably the second best when it comes to authentication behind PSA DNA. So we got this autographed Dennis Rodman jersey. Once again, the red one like you saw in the Mitchell and Ness. This is a custom jersey though. You see it's signed in silver paint pen on the one. It's authenticated by JSA and also by Fitterman. Fitterman's also the person who um, Pete Rose does all his exclusive signings with. And this is a custom jersey. So on the front, it says the worm, which that's what we're going to nickname this video. So very cool. Got this for a steal. Got it for like under 100 bucks. So couldn't beat it. All right, and last but not least, I had purchased one of these off RSA and uh, changed my mind about it because the autograph looked like crap. Robin's autograph is not consistent. 
some of those autographs look better than others, especially when they do these signings, they're rushing through stuff, so those always the bad ones in the back. So I got this one off of eBay. Got this for a steal. So I picked up a full size Spalding replica ball signed by Dennis Rodman in black. It's got shrink wrap on it to help protect the autograph. It's got the authentication sticker from Beckett right here. And it's got the Beckett authentication card right there. So I got this for like 70 something dollars. So that is a steal. Uh, I wasn't going to get one that was signed silver that looked good, but I couldn't get the person to verify if uh, that was going to be the one I was going to get or not. So I ended up getting this one when I got confirmation that uh, this was the actual ball I was going to get. So, so in all, we got three autographed items from Dennis Rodman and three swingmen's to wear. So six items in all. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite items were from today's unboxing. Uh, please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Transit Limited merch in the description. Until next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, sign out. I'm in the trap on the block on my vest and my clock. I'm that thug for my land, still ballin' like Pac. If my C be my name, they just trim my claim to fame. Mafioso be the click that's gonna bring the pain.